we had a call here at the station uh, of a guy complaining of uh, chest pains, uh, trouble breathing. He said they said he had sustained some sort of injury on the boat and that they were heading towards the inlet. At that time, they were uh, approximately 40 miles out. And the situation, we had an EMT on board our boat, uh, transferred the EMT over their boat. And the way their, their boat is, uh, is designed, that canopy that they had on their boat was not removable. So what we did was had the Hilo rendezvous with us and drop the Stokes litter down so that we could safely transport the person from their boat to our boat and then have the person medevac out to the, to the local hospital quicker than we can do with our boat. We were still 20 miles out, and it would take us at least an hour to get back. So the, the plan was just to go out there, assess the situation, stabilize the person, wait for the Hilo to get on scene, and then transfer the person to the Hilo. Well, it, was, it was successful in many ways. We were safe about what the whole evolution. You know, we, we got out there in a timely matter and uh, able to assess everything, make the uh, transfer of our ENT over to their boat, make sure it was safe to remove the person from the boat. Um, also, uh, able to uh, safely pass the person back to our boat and have the helo hoist up. I think the whole evolution took no more than 15, 20 minutes at the most. And that's including dropping their back, their uh, Stokes litter, their rescue swimmer, and transferring personnel back and forth. So it was just, uh, it was like a second nature kind of thing. It was a smooth operation for everybody that was on the boat.